Hi, this is me again trying to make an assignment in programming in C++ course. Today I had to make uh, a lot of sorting algorithms and therefore I had, had to make the bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort, quick sort and the binary tree sort. I will start out by uh, describing the code and giving an explanation when I'm done describing for each. Um, I had this time to make the code in a different, in a header file so that I can include it in the main file and be able to use every function as uh, is it ri it's written here. So I'll just use now the print map function right here. Print map function where I need to write in the, the name of the array and the amount of elements in that array. Um, yes, the name of the array, amount of elements in the array. And it's just basically a for loop trying to print out the array. And this is how it works. And it works because I will include the header file, therefore this is how it should work. Um, and then Let's start out with the bubble sort. In order to use it, you need to write down the first parameter, which is the name of the array, and then the second parameter, which is the size of the array. Um, it is just basically a for loop um, that goes, the first line goes through the whole amount of numbers, and then the second for loop just goes from the second element of the array. And um, if it sees that the following element of that element is uh, smaller, is bigger, then it will uh, change it, swap it. And then it just prints out the array. So let's see, we have the bubble sort, the name of the array and the amount of elements. There, and this, this is sorted. So that's the bubble sort. This is an explanation of how it works what the user needs to put in the brackets for the parameters in order for it to work. And then I have the insertion sort, which works the same way. You write uh, the name of the function, the name of the array, and the amount of elements. This is how it works. And here we have a for loop when it goes through one, the one line, and then we declare a variable j, which uh, always stays one element behind this first line and then we put the temporary make this line have temporary and elements therefore the j that one that is behind if it's smaller or if it's equal or bigger to zero well it is bigger than zero and bigger than the temporary which is this bigger than that element then it will go then the one in front, the element in front of it will be replaced with the element before it and it will just go back to the left and every time this is done the, uh, the following element of the J element becomes temporary and it just continues until the end of the, the array and then it prints out the array. Then we have the selection sort. It works the same way. Uh, we write the name of the array and the elements, the number of the elements. And then this is how it's sorted. I could change this to ten. And we need uh, four. Yep, the selection sort works the same way, the name of the array, size of the array. Then we start out with a for loop that goes through the whole uh, elements, whole elements. Yep. And it's it and it stops at uh, before the last element. It because it chooses the first element, which is I. Uh, it should be the minimum the minimum of the elements in the array. And then we have the second line um, where it goes on 
from the second element from the ne element next to i from the element next to the minimal element so if the array uh, j is smaller than the minimal then j will become the minimal and then it is swapped and then of course the array is printed again so that was the selection sort right the selection sort and now we have the quick sort and this is the function that I'm using inside the quick sort which is the split array this function um, performs the partitioning for the quick sorting this partitioning means that it chooses a pivot and uh, divides those it divides in the elements inside the array in two groups the ones to the left of the pivot and the ones to the right of the pivot to the left to the pivot yeah and the right to the pivot so we have this temporary that I'm using for the swapping and while the left uh, the left uh, most element is smaller than the right most element it will do this that's why when it in order to end it returns left when it ends it will return the left element so while the pivot of the pivot is uh, I've chosen it to be the first element of the array, the leftmost array, not the first, the leftmost array uh, element of the array. And um, while the pivot is smaller than the array, the, the the array element to the right, and the right is also bigger than left, then it will go to the right, and it will swap the elements. But while the pivot is bigger than the leftmost element, then uh, and the left is smaller than right, then left most element will go to the right and it will swap around if it's uh, bigger if, if the bigger there the leftmost element is bigger than the pivot and that's how the split splitting array function works it just partitions the elements inside the array in order for them to be used in the quick sort and this is where the actual recursive a part of the function starts. It we just have the pivot where we just say which one the pivot is and which is the most left leftmost element in the array, and then we have this variable split point where we use the split array function. We just get the array, the pivot, the left and the right. So we use the same information from here, and we have it is if, if sentence. So if the right side, le right most element of the array is bigger than the left most element of the array, the split point will do this split array function. So it will do the partitioning, and then the array, well, the partitioning has been made, is equal to the pivot. So if it reaches the pivot, then it should. Um, start doing the same again to the left side of the pivot and then it should do the quick sorting function the recursive function the array where it uh, just arranges them to be so it, uh, it's descending is ascending order 